Welcome everybody. This is a screencast video on how to do the set states of matter simulation lab activity. Okay, for this asynchronous work. Um, there are two main parts. One that you're going to do before you open up the FET simulator. Okay, the other is to do with the FET simulator. So you'll see that I have this split up with my Duales extension so that you can have side by side. Um, you can also open it up into a new tab and just shrink it so that it fits. Um, I adjusted this slightly so that everything can work okay. So if you scroll down to this first part, I'm having you predict what solids, liquids, and gases look like and uh, give me a sentence explaining each one. So you're like, how do I draw on a Google Doc? Well, the way that you do that is by inserting a drawing with Google Draw. So insert, okay, up at the top, then you go to Drawing, and then you hit the plus button for New. What that does is it allows for you to draw anywhere inside this form. So what you do is you go to select line, and then if you scribble down or scroll down, you select scribble. And then you can show what your solids look like. So here we have solids, which are our tightly compact um, state of matter, where they are fixed in their position. And I'm going to draw a couple little things just like that. When you click Save and Close, it will immediately upload in here. But make sure you are clicked inside the box. So if you want to do liquid, you again would go to Insert, Drawing, New, and then select the line, Scribble. And then you're going to show that your liquids have a little bit more flowy movement to them. Okay, and they're darting around, and there's more space between them, like so. You would save and close that one, and then click in the gas portion to show that gases are going to be mainly empty space. And you would show that there's actually, whoops, you have to select scribble, um, is mainly empty space, so there's a lot of room between them. Always save and close, and it will insert it right there. And then what you can do is then come back down here, all right, and give me a sentence explaining how the molecules will be moving. All right, and then it asks you another question. If you start with a substance as a solid, what will happen to the molecules when you add thermal energy? Thermal energy is another word for heat. So tell me what will happen to a solid when you keep adding heat. So that's where you will type in your answers right here. All right, once you have done that pre-lab portion, then you are going to click on or scroll down and click on the States of Matter Sim, which comes over here. You can select Run Now, and we're going to go to States first on the Home menu. So you're going to come over to here where it says States. You may use your touch screen to draw the diagrams on paper, just like we saw with that new and then scribble business. Or if you really want, you can take a picture of it, upload it from your Google Drive, whichever. But I think you should give the drawing a nice little thing. It's really easy to do, and it immediately puts it in your Google Drive. Okay, so first things first. You are going to go to the menu on the right, and you are going to select water, okay? So see where it says um, neon, it defaults to neon. We're gonna go down to our water molecules. Look how cute they are, all right there, all right? And then it says, draw and describe what you see in this place below. So in the diagram, you can click, insert, drawing, new, and then you can tell me what you see up here by going down to scribble. You see you have your little water molecules like so. And you can see that there is some space between them like this. Okay, some people even manage to take screenshots of these and doing all kinds of wonderful editing things. 
but our water molecules look like little Mickey Mouse molecules. You might remember this is the oxygen, the hydrogen, and the hydrogen. You can save and close, and you can show me what is going on right here. Okay, you can notice that they are moving ever so slightly a little bit and describe those, okay? And then over here, it says, now use the slider on the bottom of the program to add heat. So slide up. We're going to add some fire. Woo! It's getting hot in here. So you can see that these guys are increasing in temperature. This is now going to be 18 Celsius. You can choose Celsius or Kelvin. My guess is you're going to want Celsius in here. And you are going to um, tell me what happens to those molecules as you add heat. Okay. And then you are going to try to figure out what happens as they are in the liquid and the gaseous phase. All right, so this is the ability for you to play around and get to see what this would look like on the molecular level. Notice how the temperature changes in here too. So you're gonna answer these questions like so. All right, down here below, whoops, I'll fix that formatting. You are going to tell me what water looks like as a liquid, okay? So here's your liquid. You're gonna describe and see how there aren't these spaces in between. Here it's solid, there's spaces in between. In the liquid, they're all more dense. Water is more dense in the liquid phase. And then you're going to um, tell me all about that here, okay? And then you're going to tell me what water looks like as a gas. Notice all that water vapor. These guys are freely moving around. Pew, pew, there's like little spinny guys. And you're going to draw and you're going to write about those too. Okay. For step 10, you're going to choose one of these other three substances, neon, argon, or oxygen. And you are going to tell me which one you selected here and you're gonna draw what they look like. So there's neon, there's argon, and there are oxygen. And you can tell me what solid, liquid, and gaseous form of them look like. It doesn't matter which one you choose, you're gonna see that they are going to have very similar properties, but you're gonna see that their temperatures are going to change. Okay, and then down here for the very bottom, how is this substance similar to water in their states of matter? How is it different? See your predictions from page one. Were you correct or not? And then find yet another one, okay? So you're going to have to do two of the four in order to tell me what those substances look like and how you figured out if it boils or freezes or anything like that, okay? So that's all that we're doing for this, answering those pages. If you have any questions, please email me or come see me at office hours. Take care. Bye.